if you're watching this, just imagine you're that parent and you don't know where your child is. And the law now says there's a 72 hour period where the shelter has to notify you in that 72 hour period for any child of any gender or any circumstance is a period to investigate whether there's abuse in the home. But beyond that, beyond 72 hours, you gotta tell the parent. And so it's, it's really important to understand here what the uh, proponents of radical gender ideology want. They want to stand between a parent and a child on these important decisions. And I don't think it's abuse if a parent says, I'm not going to get my child gender blockers. And, and it's odd to hear you advocate for the law because just moments ago in testimony, you said, and I wrote it down, parents have a fundamental right to make healthcare decisions regarding their children. But, but if in Washington state today, the parent makes the decision that they're not going to provide that gender affirming care, what it does is it unlocks for the government a window of time to keep the child away from the parent and to not tell the parent where the kid is. Oh, please, get over yourself. What, you know, what, what's terrible is when you have uh, this, this incongruent desire of the government to restrain the ability of parents to parent. And I, I can only imagine the terror that a parent must go through not knowing where their child is. So um, I think that's really challenging. We've